When I'm in a foreign country and I don't speak the language and someone talks to me in their native tongue and I don't understand, I just freeze. I guess the proper thing to say is like English please or anything like that just to indicate that you don't speak their language. So there was one funny story last week in Germany when we were at the water park Rulantica. We were grabbing lunch and I said uh, bolognese penne and I, I ordered the item because I could at least say the item name, right? That was easy enough. And then the guy was speaking in German a bit. I didn't know if he was talking to me or if he was talking to his co-worker and then he asked me a question in German and I thought he was asking me do I want water or a drink or something like that so I said nine which is no in German and then he kind of laughed a bit and said something in German again and then Niels my friend turns to me and he said he's asking you to pay <laughs> So it turns out he was first asking me, do I want a salad? And I didn't say anything. And then he said, okay, so you have to pay now. And I said, no. <laughs> Instead of pretending to understand I knew German, and they pr most people in Germany speak English to a pretty good level, so I should have just said English, please. But it reminds me of the time I was in Japan, and there was a waiter speaking to me in Japanese for a bit. I couldn't understand what he was saying. I understood a few things before when what he said, like a few simple things, but when he started speaking more, I couldn't understand, and I just froze. And I probably looked like I was retarded or something like that. Just standing there like, uh... All I have to do is say, sorry, I don't speak Japanese, but I didn't say it at the time. Anyways, that was a little story time for today. I will see you tomorrow. 1% better every day, baby. I just tried a new location for the gym because I heard that this place is bigger and also there are more cute girls. And it is bigger and there are more girls, but the Stairmaster machines are older models, so it's not as good. There is no air bike. And I usually stretch in the cycling room with the fan on, so I cool down after I'm sweating from the Stairmaster, but here the cycling room is under construction, so I can't even do that with the fans blowing against my back. So all in all, I think I'm just gonna go back to my regular gym. Well, at least I gave it a try. It is almost 20 degrees Celsius today. Beautiful day for a walk, although it is going to get colder and rainier starting tomorrow, so gotta enjoy it while it lasts. Look at those ducks cleaning themselves, balancing on that little piece of wood. Sunbathing. Oh.